Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are continuing our career mode and pushing our way up to the far northwest coast of the United States. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright my friends, so let's see what we got going on today. So we are starting down um, in Novato and we're going to be heading all the way up to, it looks like Mendocino today, uh, at least for the first leg here. We may do a couple legs for this uh, particular flight. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but we have another one of those. So last time on the previous flight, I think this is the first time that has ever happened to me. Unfortunately, I landed too hard and we broke the cargo. Um, we have these ones here that say, you know, vertical must touch down with a vertical speed of less than 200 feet per minute. I touched down at 211 feet per minute and broke the cargo. So I lost all the money for the previous flight, but it was still a gorgeous flight coming over here. We got to fly over this Golden Gate Bridge, so it wasn't all lost. So today we are hoping to redeem ourselves and we're going to be flying up to Mendocino National Park basically and uh, dropping off some more fragile cargo. So let's go ahead and grab the mission. And goodness gracious, let's hope everything goes well. We'll wait for it to connect. And let's see here. We are missing 312 pounds. So let's get in here. Let's see what we got going on. Payload. Let's make sure these match up. Yep, 190. And we need a total of 502. So let's get going. So we'll add that in there. Do, 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 do. Almost there. Ooh, look at that. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. Yes, ma'am. All right. And fuel on board. We should be perfectly Transporter. fine. Transporter. Loading has started. Stand by. Okay. Glad. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. Yeah, all those lovely sounds right there that you're hearing, they were terrible when you hear them all breaking. Let's get in the cockpit. Let's get her started up here. So let's get our batteries turned on. Oh, you know what else I forgot? I forgot about our uh, FS Realistic. Let's get that started. FS Realistic Thank you, ma'am. All right. You guys heard her. Transporter. Our cargo's loaded. Let's get up top. Let's turn the beacon light on. Turn the nav lights on. Recog and go ahead and come on. Step on downstairs here again. We got batteries on. Alternators on. Parking brake is set. Fuel tank is selected. Both fuel tanks are balanced. Let's make sure prop is in set to full. We're going to go mixture to full rich and get that prop cracked open just a hair here. Let's verify our barometric pressure is set on the altimeter. All oh, that looks fantastic. Let's give her a crank. Clear prop. And we're good. All right. Get those master avionics turned on. The transponder set. We're just doing the old VFR today, keeping things easy. That is the nice thing about the way that we uh, are doing these particular legs is uh, they're short and sweet, very direct, easy to manage our way around. What do we got there? Oh, look, I got a Spitfire next door. How about that? Hello, oh, Mr. Spitty. All right. Other than that, folks, we are ready for tax. We've already got our cargo on board. Let's go ahead and bring the yoke back out. Oop, I did not mean to cl click that. Oh, I'm still clicking that. Clicking the wrong thing. There we go. All right. So uh, let me get the old uh, headset on here and uh, we'll get out the door. All right. Let the games begin here. So uh, we got winds here today at uh, 233 at 8 knots. So not fantastic either direction. We're just going to take off from right here. That should be runway 3-1 if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're going to get a good crosswind no matter what. So we'll just have to be ready for that. Let's release the parking brake. And let's get our beautiful Mooney out of here. I'm pretty sure that turned on my landing lights too. I forget that L cycles like all of them. 
it is kind of handy but uh, you do have to remember what it does and I kind of forgot that when I flipped that one on no big deal As we approach runway 3-1, we're going to go flaps 1 for takeoff. Make sure the speed brakes are retracted. They are indeed. Hang tight for just a second. Let's get those landing lights turned back on, strobe lights back on, taxi lights can come off. And let's see here, make sure the fullest tank is selected for takeoff. There we go, right tank selected. Let's get on out of here. All right. We're going to be looking for about 74 knots for rotation. Should give us a nice smooth climb out, minding that uh, eight knot crosswind. It's almost directly off the right wing. So that's going to be a little interesting. All right, let's lock her in. those brakes let's get rotating here come on yeah there's that right crosswind goodness airspeed alive there's 50 knots there's 60 knots 70 and rotating watching that crosswind Good flight. Atlanta, Keeping that left wing down a bit. Letting off the right rudder. Just let her slip on out. Let's go ahead and get the gear up now. Got a good rate of climb established. some power back here. Start with my RPMs. Get us back down to about 2300 for the climb out. Come back on the manifold pressure. We're looking for about 25 inches. Mixture looks dead on the money. Exhaust temperature looking good. Cylinder head temperature still within yeah, we're running a little warm. We'll see what happens as we continue to climb. The cylinder head temperature, I will say, in this particular aircraft, I always have trouble getting into the green. So uh, exhaust temperature is a little bit easier for me to manage. I tend to mix based on exhaust temperature. Go ahead and bring those flaps up now. Powering out, looking good. Very good climb out this morning. Very good climb out. All right, we're starting a right turn towards Mendocino. Start pulling that mixture back a bit. Setting our heading bug to relatively three zero zero, so right around there. Now we've got quite a bit of climb to do. Uh, we're going to be going probably up to about nine or ten thousand feet. Make sure we clear the mountain ranges.
looking really good on the climb. Gonna pull that uh, mixture back a little bit. We're gonna be pulling that back every couple thousand feet here. Probably a little less than that, actually. And let's go ahead and lock in our altitude. is what I'm looking for initially. We'll see how that goes. I didn't look at the uh, sectional, so I don't know what the peak is here. But I would think 9,000 should be pretty good. We're already at 4 and looking pretty strong. I just worry about the mountain ranges out in front. Our heading, we already got dialed in. Alright, let's turn the autopilot on. Should continue to climb well. Climb rate 500 feet per minute, about 600 feet per minute. Target for 9,000, we're at 700 feet per minute is what we're climbing at. That's fine, I can live with that. Double check the barometric pressure, 299 or 7 currently. And a nice strong speed for climb. We're actually looking very, very good right now. Manifold pressure looks good. RPMs are good. Cylinder head temp, that's once again, pull our mixture back as we continue to climb. Keep that exhaust temperature in line there. All right. And other than that, guys, um, we have quite a bit of a cruise. It's really not too far of a flight today. It's only about 90 nautical miles without what we're looking for, so it shouldn't be too far. Um, I'm going to come back to you guys once the sun's come up a little bit more. Um, and uh, probably about the time that we get over uh, Lake Port. Um, or Clear Lake. Once we fly over Clear Lake, I'll probably come back to you. That's actually a really pretty area. I figured that might be fun to see, but uh, I'll catch you guys in just a few minutes. Alright, we are a little bit over halfway through our trip here. There's Clear Lake. Nice, pretty area. Just south of Mendocino. Stable at altitude. Both fuel tanks are balanced. Barometric pressure set. We're locked in at 9,000 feet. We are doing very well on the cruise. Pushing right about 160 knots, give or take. Well, all instruments and gauges are reading well. And uh, we should be arriving on time here. Give, give about another uh, 25, 30 minutes here. And we should be... Uh, on our way so uh, stick around guys and we're almost there all right troopers we are just about there our runway should be right about here just at the uh, north end of uh, this little lake here so let us begin the process of not kicking the rudder pedals every time I just go to come off of autopilot but let's get out of autopilot Start pulling some power back. And start our descent on down. Alright, we are turning tail here on the descent. Watching that airspeed there. Keep re-verifying your barometric pressure. Let's go ahead and pop those speed brakes out a little bit. Don't need her turning and burning like that. You know what I mean? Winds, we're looking for just about, looks like due east. And winds are calm down at the runway. So, runway is basically of our selection. We got 090 for one knot. So, I mean, we really don't have much there. What a beautiful spot though, holy crap. Tell me this is not gorgeous. And there's the runway right there, sort of going uh, from 
here to here. That's our runway. Isn't that a gorgeous location? Whoa! What the hell? Okay, that wasn't me. Whew! <laughs> that one wasn't me. <laughs> We're on our toes. We're on our toes. Let's uh, switch tanks. Let's get the landing lights turned back on. So I'm guessing the only approach uh, would make sense would be down here from the uh, southwest. So that's where we'll come in from. Let's start getting that airspeed back under control. I'm going to get those speed brakes back out again. Looking for safe flap speeds here. Start bringing that mixture in a bit more. Double checking that parametric pressure. And let's go ahead and go flaps one from here. We got prop into full here. Speed brake's coming in. Beautiful area. Neat approach. This lake is called Lake Pillsbury. I've never heard of this one. And remember, we do have sensitive cargo, so touchdown rate must be less than 200 feet per minute. All right, so gear's coming down. Speed brake's coming back out. Got to slow it back down again. Flaps two coming in. What a beautiful landing spot. Holy goodness gracious. This is gorgeous. Full flaps on its way. Speed brake's coming back in until we're close to touchdown. We should be able to manage it from now with the flaps. And we're looking for an incredibly light landing. So I'm going to try to shallow this up a bit. Just makes it a bit easier. I'd rather scrape the treetops than bang on the ground. We want our money for this flight. No more lost funds. Look at this, guys. Gosh, isn't this gorgeous? This is beautiful. This is right up there with uh, uh, Princess Juliana. That's what this one's reminding me of. Obviously not as uh, well fitted, but speed brakes back out. We'll fly them all the way down to the runway now. Coming down at 80 knots. I uh, had selected hardened airfields only, but doesn't look like we got that here, but we'll see what happens. All right, watching that descent rate. Watching that descent rate. Transporter from dispatch. Go to the parking so we can check the cargo status. Yeah, don't tell me I broke anything on that one. Flaps coming in. Although, this will still be... I think we can easily take off from here, so I'm not too concerned about the uh, airfield conditions. Although, it's kind of crazy there's nothing out here. <laughs> like, who are we dropping it off to? Let's get that uh, taxi light turned on. Landing light's coming off. We'll just exit up here, I guess. <laughs> I love the service truck out here. Like, dude, there is nothing out here for you to be delivering to. Okay. Parking brake set. Oh, come on. 
Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. And let's turn our magnetos off. Let's turn the avionics masters off first. Let's turn my transponder off. Engines off. Throttle cut. Prop set. Mixture. Prop back to full for engine start. Clear the master caution. Alternators and batteries. Oh, I forgot my lights. Transporter from dispatch. Everything seems okay. The customer looks happy. Mission ended. Thank you, ma'am. All right, let's see how we did. I know we nailed that landing. So let's see what it uh, what it presents today. So let's see here. Uh, fuel consumption we consumed forty four pounds. Bonus landing ninety two feet per minute. <laughs> nice. I'll take that. Bonus comfort we got eighty four. Good. And everything else looks like it was a success. Let's see what the payout on that one was. Let's see, that would have been, nope. I think this would have been our most recent trip, right? Uh, yeah, this is it right here. So there's the ICAO, one Quebec five. $10,000 we got from that flight. That's a pretty good one. Nice. Yeah, that's the one I told you where I broke, uh, broke it on landing. That one sucked. That was not a good one. But anyways. Another successful flight for NeoFly. We are definitely making our way up the coast as we would expect, uh, or as that we're trying to, I should say. Um, and then hopefully in the next one, we will get even closer. Let's see where we're at. Let's actually go back to NeoFly for just a minute. We can get an idea where we are. So here we are. So about halfway up California here. Still got a bit of ways to go. He's got Eureka there. Do, 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 do. And that's the state line right there. So here we're coming into Oregon. Yep, and that'll be Washington. And then up there, Canada and Alaska. So doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And I'm thinking that uh, we may work our way up to Alaska. We have to come up into through British Columbia and whatnot. But uh, I think we can still do that. Maybe ride the coast all the way up and around. And then uh, turn back and find some creative way to come back down to Tucson and uh, figure out where we're going to go from there. So we have quite a ways to go, guys. But uh, I hope you guys are continuing to enjoy the series. And as always, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.